things. So what do you, every one of you, and Oprah Winfrey have in common, besides being a woman and an American? Yes, Lynn? She hadn't written her book yet either. <laughs> <laughs> Vision too, Julia. Very good. That's great. Very good. She feels spirit. She feels spirit. That's right. So we love her, don't we? She feels the need for change. She does. She think well, look at what like, she's doing. Go. She's a lot of heart. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. She empowers people. Yeah. Yep. She's not afraid anymore. Well, she's she, out there. Isn't she, she is out she there. Is out there. She doesn't tolerate stagnation. She just does not tolerate. That's right. That's right. She's doesn't alive matter. and authentic. Yes. Vibrant. She's such an amazing Committed. model for us, isn't she? Mm -hmm. And you know, she's she's laying the foundation for all of us, especially those of us who are healers or want to be healers or do that kind of healing work. She's really a laying the groundwork for us in, in the next years to come. You know, she's starting her own network, television network, where it will be 24 hours a day of personal development kind of TV shows as well. Well, those are all great answers, by the way. If some I hadn't thought of, I like them. Um, the one I'm looking for is, is that she has an intuitive guidance system just like you do. And I was reading her latest magazine um, <clears throat> recently, and she said that she never had a plan for her business. And I said, well, thank God, because I never had one either. I guess there's hope for me, you know? <laughs> Because my philosophy is you follow spirit, you follow those intuitive impulses. And, um, and so she said that she just literally did what felt right. And look at what's happened in the doors that have opened for her today. And we all have that. Thank God she's a woman who's trusted it, that she really trusted it in, in a, a, a way that's made an amazing impact in the lives of people. We all have that. And my goal, no matter what the subject is of the workshop that I'm going to be leading, is to really help people validate and strengthen that even more. I know you're all intuitive. I know that. I mean, I know you all. And there's more and there's more and there's more. It gets stronger and deeper and stronger and deeper. And as we, as we strengthen it more and more and more, less and less and less of our ego is a part of our life anymore. She talked about that a lot. I remember when she said that when too, when too many people were, were coming at her with ideas, she would, she goes into the closet. Right. She goes into the closet and completely, like, and list, to listen to herself. Like, right. that's how she <coughs> runs her life. Yeah. I love it. I love that's right. So she, she always, and she talks always about the, her kind of trusting her inner sense. And she had a guest at one point who said, hey, you have a whole army of angels <laughs> helping you or something. She's like, I feel like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. But she says mm -hmm. she always... She yes. always very strongly trusts her, her own voice. Yeah. Well, she's one of the best role models for it I've ever seen. You know, what's so beautiful is that in this culture, unless people make a lot of money with it, it doesn't seem to be valid or important, right? It's like, oh, it's nothing. You know, give me, I want facts and data and numbers and figures. And fortunately, Oprah has all of that mm -hmm. to prove that this works in a way that, you know, I don't have, and many other people don't have, you know, we might have money, we might be successful, but not like Oprah.